Hi, welcome to Software Basics. In today's video, I'm basically going to show you how to add or and otherwise synchronize your Google Calendar to your Thunderbird email client on your desktop PC. <laughs> So there's basically two ways of doing this. The first way is not going to require the addition of an extension. However, the second way will require us to add an extension to Thunderbird. So the first way I'm going to show you is quite simple. You just simply need to go to your Google calendars. And in this case, I've already made a calendar called tutorial demo. And that's what we're going to be using for examples in this video. So you need to click on the three dots and go to settings. And then just make sure you scroll to the end of the calendar. Now here you have two options for iCal format. You have public or secret. Obviously if your calendar is public you go with the public link. And in this case the calendar is private so we're going to copy the secret link. And then just simply head over to Thunderbird. Now you can see I have the calendar tab opened. If you don't have that open just go to the top right and click on it. It should open up your calendar. And then just simply right click on the column and select new calendar then you need to select on the network because we're going to be accessing a server which is google server then hit next and then you can see we have various options so we need to obviously select i calendar now the second way we will be selecting google calendar but i'll have to show you how to download the extension then just simply paste the link that you copied make sure you take offline support hit next and then you can just name the calendar Usually I name it the same way as a calendar on Google and you can select the color as well. Now in this case you can choose what email on your Thunderbird. If you have multiple emails which one you would like to associate with the calendar. I'm going to select none and then hit next and then finish. And as you can see we have the calendar shown up here with the information for today. So if we go back to Google Calendar you can see Thunderbird tutorial is also here as well. Now if we add a new event, test 2, and save, and if we go to Thunderbird, it won't show up straight away, so we would need to hit the synchronize button, and it basically brings up all the new information that was added. Now what you should do is right click, go to properties, and then change the time to refresh every minute, that's what I usually do and then just hit OK. Obviously the choice here is yours. You can choose whatever you'd like to suit your needs. OK, so what I'm going to do is just delete this calendar because I'm going to show you guys how to do it the second way. So we'll say unsubscribe and then we need to go to the extensions tab. Now the best way to do it is just simply click on this uh, burger button on the top right. If you can't see that you need to right click on the bar just below and select calendar toolbar. So disable it, right click calendar toolbar, burger button and then we go to add-ons. I already have this installed so what I'm going to do is just quickly remove it so I can show you guys. Alright so that's restarted and it's going to be the same way for you just simply type in Google calendars and then you should see provider for Google calendar then just simply hit install again it's gonna ask you to restart so restart now and that takes a few seconds and it should restart once it's added we can go to extensions and you can see provider for Google calendar Then just simply head back to your calendar and do the same thing again right click new calendar and then we select network just like before hit next and then we select Google Calendar. So we hit next. Now, as you can see, my Google email is already synced. However, for your case, you would want to select this option here with the empty input and then just simply enter your Gmail account email and then hit next. And then it will bring up the sign in section for you to log in. Now, aside from the extension part, obviously most people do not like this part. Uh, so that is why I showed you the first option. So to continue, we'll just go back and I'll obviously select mine, hit next. And as you can see, I have all the options from my calendar, including the new one. Now, the good thing about syncing it this way, you can see the colors and everything comes with it, including my task manager. So it's less tedious as opposed to the first way. So with the other calendars, you can't uncheck them and you can see they're grayed out. This indicates that they are already synced to your Thunderbird. 
However, the new calendar isn't, that's why it's in bold font. So we just simply select the new calendar and then hit next and finish. Now, as you can see, the calendar is added straight away. Again, you can right click, go to properties, and then I'm going to change this to every 30 minutes. You can set this to read only. You can still change the color again, or you can change the name of the calendar. And as well, you can edit the location in case that location changes to maybe from public to secret. So that's pretty much how you sync up your Google Calendar with your Thunderbird email client on your desktop PC. If this video helped you out, don't forget to leave a like and of course subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.